me see if I can flip this camera. Yep, that is the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> uh... Hey, I'm Rick and welcome to Sweet Heat. And today I'm gonna make you something that actually I've been missing and craving for a while now. I love being here in Mazatlan, but one of the things that I really love about New York is the access to Asian food, Thai food, Chinese food, Vietnamese food. I love those flavors so much. And a lot of those flavors have the same sort of sweet heat combination with like a, a lot of brightness from lime juice and orange juice and citrus. And one of the things that I miss most is there's this, uh, there's this place in Hell's Kitchen called Wendy Siam. They make this crispy duck salad that I have literally been eating for probably about 15 years. It's this duck that's been kind of fried, almost like a chicharron, but a uh, duck. And it's paired with pineapple, onions, Thai chilies, lime juice, fish sauce. It's so, so good. I am actually going to attempt to recreate this dish for you today. As always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can follow all my little recipes and adventures here in Mazatlan. And what else do I need to say? <laughs> let's get cooking. All right, great, let's go. <laughs> the sweet and the heat in this dish are from a couple of things. Um, so the first thing is I have to talk about a little bit about this pineapple because it's really incredible. This is called a piña de miel, um, or pineapple of syrup. It's super, super sweet. It's really incredible. They're a little more common in the southern part of the country. So I'm gonna use this today. So that means that I might not need to add any sugar to this, but in the recipe I've written, uh, or I've included palm sugar, which is actually pretty common in Thailand and Thai cooking. I'm only including the sugar if your pineapple isn't that sweet, which probably if you're in the States, if you're using an off-season pineapple, um, you know, it's probably not gonna be too super sweet. So you probably will have to have, add a little sugar. The heat in this dish, uh, normally if I was doing this in New York or if I was actually at Wendy Siam, they would be using Thai chilies, maybe a serrano pepper, uh, you know, depending on where you are. But I found these really beautiful green chili de arbol, um, which I really like a lot. They're super hot, but they're not, um, the red chili de arbol are a little bit sweeter because they've actually been allowed to ripen on the vine. These, because they're green, are gonna be a little bit grassier, which I think is gonna pair nicely with everything else. I also have a little bit of heat from the red onion, which is like pretty aggressive. And then I'm also using um, a green Granny Smith apple just for like tartness and flavor. And honestly, like these are all the same things that exist in the, the salad at Wendy Siam. So it's not like I'm riffing or changing anything. I'm trying to get as close to it as I possibly can here in Mazatlan. Okay, rolling on camera one, rolling on camera two. Okay, so the first part of the recipe, I'm gonna work on the onions. I feel like the red onions in particular are very aggressive. When you eat them in a raw preparation, they can pretty much overpower a dish. So what I normally do is I let it soak in salted water for, you know, you can five, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, um, and it'll uh, pull out some of the really, really harsh flavors out of the onion, but it'll still leave it nice and crisp. And so that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm using half of a red onion, two cups of water, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. And it's not gonna make the onions really salty. All it's gonna do is just pull out all of those really harsh flavors. Pineapple, okay. So I'm just gonna cut the top off. I'm gonna just trim off the bottom so that it's flat and that it lays or sits flat. And then I'm just gonna run my knife down the edges and just take off the skin, which is obviously not pleasant to eat. It's so fragrant. It actually smells like like if a pineapple was a flower, which I guess it was, but um, that's what it smells like. It's just really, really incredibly fragrant. I'm only gonna use a quarter of this, although it's, since this one is a small, I may, I may add a little more because I just like pineapple. The way that I normally deal with pineapple is I cut them in quarters lengthwise, and then this core is pretty inedible. It's kind of tough and very fibrous. So I just run my knife down the center and then just take it all out. That to me is the easiest way to do it. 
And I'm gonna give this a little taste. And I'm just cutting this into smallish pieces. Mmm, that was really good. I think I may end up adding a little bit of sugar. It's not quite as sweet as I would like it. But then again, I really like sweet things. And I'm really sad because Misael um, woke up this morning and was probably having like a little allergy attack with like sniffles, but you know, because of the time we live in, um, it's probably not a great idea for us to shoot together. So anyway, I'm going to save him some of the salad. I will probably take it to him later today, but yeah, so I'm shooting on my own, but um, I'll see you soon, Misael. Miss you. All right, so I have a green apple, Granny Smith. It works really well with this dish. Also, apple and duck just really goes well together. And to be honest, I actually did try and find duck here and I was unsuccessful, but I ended up buying um, a chicken and I have a rotisserie on my grill and I use that. I'm pretty obsessed with this thing because it's so incredible and it, it has been such a game changer for me in terms of chicken. It's been a couple of days since we shot the video. And as you know, Misael wasn't there and I was really worried about him. And I guess in the process of shooting and working all the cameras and cooking and doing all the whatever, I forgot to hit record while we were shooting the chicken segment. So I am back and I'm making another rotisserie chicken, which actually I'm not really mad at. Um, and I'm going to shred it on camera so that there is some consistency. Also, I wanna show you this incredible rotisserie chicken, which I'm obsessed with. So this is my rotisserie attachment on my grill. I'm going to reveal to you my amazingly delicious chicken. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Literally obsessed. So good, so flavorful, so delicious. Okay, um, so I'm actually all alone in my house now, but I have this amazing chicken and it smells delicious. So um, I'm not gonna make this salad again. I'm actually just gonna have chicken tacos, but I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm going to save the skin. So you'll see later on the video, I make chicharrones using the skin and, oh, so good. Now just cut the meat along the breastbone. Oh, it's like perfectly cooked. It's so moist and delicious. So I'm just going to shred the chicken. Don't have to go crazy. I'm using the breast, which makes it easier to shred because it comes off in nice, even pieces. I always save my bones, even with a store-bought rotisserie chicken, I always save all the bones. And if I, um, I usually keep a bag, a Ziploc bag in the freezer, and I just put all the random chicken bones and chicken scraps in the bag. And when it's full, I make stock. All right, that is all my chicken shredded. And I believe that is the only piece of this video that I did not record. So perhaps we'll have to have an episode where I make some rotisserie tacos with a sweet and spicy salsa. I can't believe that I am shooting a video for Thai salad and I made this for lunch because I made a big mistake and forgot to record the chicken. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, so this will be a future episode. You'll see this taco again. Mm. The sauce in this is basically fish sauce and lime juice. It's a very classic combination. It's like so incredibly fresh and fragrant. Um, I'm going to zest one of these little limes. Where's my zester? And I'm using key limes because that's what's really common here in Mexico. The zest, I think, has a little bit more flavor and fragrance and essential oils than the Persian limes, which is what normally we would get in the US. I just want one lime, which is about one teaspoon. Throw that in. And then I'm just gonna juice these. And I just want a quarter cup of juice. Yep, quarter of a cup. Right, I'm gonna save these for a limeade later. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of fish sauce. All right, wow, 
very pungent, but it's going to be really incredibly delicious. Mm. Okay, take a piece of pineapple, taste it. If you find that it's sweet enough for your palate, you don't have to add any extra sugar. This pineapple is very delicious, but I like sweet. So I'm gonna add two teaspoons of the coconut palm sugar. You can add granulated, you can add light brown, you could add dark brown, palm sugar if you can find it, coconut sugar, sugar if you have it, whatever sugar is like easily accessible to you. I mean, honestly, you could put honey in there too if you wanted. I'm gonna give this a little stir. It smells so good, I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Mm. So now I'm gonna let this sit and just hang out, let all those flavors come together and we will work on the chicken. <laughs> the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna toast the nuts. So I'm using cashews and peanuts. I'm using half a cup of each. If you didn't wanna do this step, you know, not a big deal, um, but I just think it adds so much more flavor to the dish. And you wanna get the pan nice and hot and then just toss them every once in a while. It'll just take a few minutes. To me, this is a really simple salad, but like, and with not a lot of ingredients, but I wanna treat each ingredient and make sure that I just pull as much flavor as I can out of every single element. All right, and that is looking really good. They're really glossy now. They've got some dark spots on them. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. Just dump them into my bowl. Make sure that if you're using a bowl, it's heat proof. Okay, now I'm gonna add my lard. This is a third of a cup of lard. Oh, oh my God, it smells so good. And so I'm just gonna drop the chicken in. I'm gonna do maybe half at a time. Just to, I don't wanna crowd the pan. And this chicken is very juicy, so it's gonna splatter. I feel like everything I cook splatters. Or maybe it's just every time that I use lard, but so worth it. All right, it's starting to brown. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my God. Wow. A lot of people ask me like, how do I, how do I change my, my chicken breast game? And this is a really, really good way to, to completely transform the texture and the flavor of the chicken breast. So I'm gonna pull these, but I want you to see how beautiful they are. Either use tongs or a slotted spoon and just pull all the chicken. I'm putting it onto a paper towel lined sheet tray. That'll absorb any of the excess oil. I don't want this to be a heavy dish. I don't want you to feel like you're gonna, you know, it, it's a salad at the end of the day, right? Like I wanna feel good about eating this. I just want that really nice, flavorful, crispy outside. Okay, so I've left most of, of the oil in the pan and I'm gonna cook the rest of the chicken. Mm. This chicken is making me really hungry. So I'm going to have a little snack. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. That is looking really good. I'm done with this. One last step, I'm going to make the chicharrones. I have my skin and I'm just gonna try and lay it out as flat as possible. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat because I think that there is enough residual heat in the pan to keep these going. I'm seeing a little wisp of smoke and they're almost done, but I'm gonna let them cook on the underside where the skin joined the actual flesh of the chicken. There's a little bit of fat there that I'm just gonna try and render. The top part is actually pretty nicely browned and crispy. And this is what you want. Just really beautiful, deep golden brown. And as it cools, it's gonna get really crispy. Oh, can't wait. Oh. We're ready.
ready to assemble the salad. But first, I have a couple of other veggies I'm gonna prep. I'm using scallion, or in this case, actually, scallion are not very common where I am. So I'm using what we have, which is uh, chambray onions, or it's probably more like a small spring onion. And I'm just going to thinly slice them. And I have a giant bowl, and this is going to be, everything just goes into a giant bowl. All right, and now my chiles. Okay, so depending on what you're using, if you have Thai chilies, probably just one, because they are pretty intense, unless you like heat, and then, you know, as many as you want. Um, the arbols here are actually kind of mild. I'm not exactly certain why. It's probably a different variety that grows in this area. Um, so I'm gonna add three, and we'll see what happens. And then I have some cilantro, some really beautiful cilantro. Um, I'm not gonna chop it, I'm actually just going to pull it off, because it's really pretty and I like, I love using herbs in salads because I think, you know, they're just as much a green as a lettuce and there's no need to chop it. They have such a pretty shape. That's another thing that I love about this dish is that, you know, there's so many different shapes and colors and textures and flavors. So this is about a, a cup uh, packed, but I like, you know, just use as much as you have, use as much as you want. All right, and then what else? Okay, we're gonna put the pineapple in. Just all of that pineapple. Everything else is just like dump and stir. Apple. I drain the apple and the onion. Oh, it's so pretty, oh my God. So pretty. And then the nuts and the chicken. Actually, I'm gonna pull the chicharron and I'll break those up before I serve. Put all the chicken in. And then, I'm just gonna give this a little stir. I'm gonna taste it again. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's um, pretty intense, but it's really good. I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar just to kind of balance it out. The, um, the palm sugar is not quite as sweet as regular sugar, so you might have to add a little bit more. This is, I probably added the equivalent of a tablespoon of, spoon of granulated sugar. I put four teaspoons of the palm sugar in there. But, okay. Now, I'm just gonna drizzle everything over. And I'm just gonna toss with my hands. You can use tongs, you can put gloves on. Oh my God, wow. I just got this overwhelming sense of sitting in one day Siam and having this salad hit the table. All the smells are the same. It looks just like the salad that I'm used to. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, wow. All right, and that's it. Now I'm going to plate this up. I'm wash my hands first. I'm so excited. Okay, almost time to eat. I'm probably about 30 seconds away, so I'm gonna just kind of rush through this. I'm gonna get the give the chicharron a little bit of a chop. You can hear how crunchy they are. I'm super excited about that. Also, since I'm all alone, I get to eat all the chicharron. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna save some for me, Sayal. I'm gonna take him some salad today and Hopefully that will make him feel better. He was really upset this morning uh, that he couldn't be here. And I was really upset too because he's my friend and it's fun to hang out with him. Um, okay, that is ready. Okay, so I've got my beautiful plate. I'm going to, I'm just gonna line it with a little bit of lettuce. Um, it's what they do in the restaurant. Not really sure why, but it's very pretty and it catches a lot of the uh, the juices, which is really nice. And, and then we're just going to layer the salad on top. Oh, oh my God. Wow. All right, Faki, I'm gonna show you what this looks like and you can tell me how close I got to the salad that you had. Although the difference is gonna be that I'm gonna put a little chicharron on mine. So, sorry, Faki. <laughs> You're missing out. Hey, Rick. Yes, I did. I drove all the way up there. 
and I got the salad you asked me for to get. This uh, salad is actually accompanied by some white jasmine rice. Let me get a spoon. Um, and it's really nice because as the salad sits, you're gonna start to like get a lot of the juices that come out and this is a really good way to catch all of the juices. And get some beautiful fluffy rice. Oh my God, this is really, I have to admit, I kind of impressed myself. This is a very, very beautiful salad. That is my tribute to the amazing salads of Wendy Siam that I have literally eaten for probably the past 18 years. Oh, so excited. Okay, Faki, so how did I do? Did I get close? It's almost the same. <laughs> almost, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it was like snowing out the back, yeah. then yeah. Okay. So um, I'm getting a little bit of pineapple, onions, and let's get some duck here. Mm. Oh, oh, it's spicy. <coughs> the paint up was so good. Oh, just want to have It's sweet, heat, and heat. Heat and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it smells so good. All right. I don't even know what to say, except that I'm like so excited to eat this. Uh, it's all the flavors I love. It is so beautiful too. And for a salad, it's so amazingly fragrant. I mean, I can definitely smell this fish sauce, but like all the fruit, the pineapple, the apples, the cilantro, the onions, it's, uh, it's definitely like a feast for all the senses. All right. Um, I would normally be eating this with chopsticks, but I don't have any here, so we're, we're going in with like fork and spoon. That's kind of weird, right? <laughs> mm. Mm. I am imagining myself sitting in this little booth on 54th and 9th Avenue. It's really cold out. I've just worked out and I'm really happy. <laughs> the salad makes me so happy. I have such great memories. Reminds me of New York, reminds me of all my friends. I hope that you make the salad. It's actually really easy. It's healthy. It's really great for this time of year because even when it's really cold outside, you can get something that reminds you of something a little bit more tropical, something a little more warm weather. And it's great for the holidays when you know, you're tired of eating pies and turkey and dressing and carbs on carbs and carbs. This is actually a really great way to cut right through that. Thank you and I will see you next time. That was a really stupid ending. <laughs> really, I just wanna take another bite. <laughs> so I'll see you later, bye. <laughs>